Right, this is slightly on the um, on the wonk because um, I'm just trying to get the um, just trying to get the tripod beside me so we can kind of look over it. I'll take a still shot as well. Okay, <clears throat> so literally off the top of my head, I brought in some materials here that I envisage on your um, shelves, the pebbles and the slate and then possibly some um, very subtle glass inclusions here and there. Um, so <clears throat> thinking about that, I'm thinking about the bowl, I'm thinking about, although they're earthy and they're sort of organic, there's a lot of detail on the tiling, I think the tiles and the slate and the metal go beautifully together. Um, but as for the bowl, I think it needs to be very muted or it's going, going to fight, but I think it, I, I personally, at this moment in time, and there's probably loads of different possibilities out there, I think um, it needs to sort of tone in with the slate and the tiles and reflect the tiles a bit. Anything too detailed on this and bright, I don't think it's going to work. I think it's going to be overkill. Um, I've got another idea that I'll think about tell you in a minute. I don't know if that's going to be overkill or not, probably too heavy. But anyway, just looking at this bowl, taking a still shot of this this is kind of stylistically um, you know surface and colors and stuff um, very similar to Sinclair's uh, area of working right so we've got um, they're not exactly the same but I'm just going to pick out some of these um, softer softer colors to reflect the tiles that you've got or, or as best I can so if I just put this round this way, whoops, my model, and I'm just going to roughly I'll just give it a rough. I mean, I know your tiles and the glazes would be softer. And this is just just an indication to try and help me express, probably something I'm just not going to achieve on the email and we just haven't got enough um, examples to demonstrate um, so looking at the bowl with an overall glaze and then what I was thinking was a very very um, sort of subtle um, abstract not totally semi abstract motif that reflected your tiles using the three three tile color um, as you know, I'm, I'm, you know, just a freak for the turquoise against the, the slate. So I think that would work well. I think those colours work well with your tiles. I mean, a lot of this is a taste thing. It's budget. It's discovering things that you don't even know that are out there yet. Um, I mean, we could look at um, somebody to sort of hand make a glass bowl. That that would be quite. That might not be within the budget range. Anyway, just going back to this, this is just a stream of consciousness, first thing in the morning with my coffee. Um, yeah, going back to this and, and thinking about your tiles, so this lovely, you know, these lovely earth sort of reds and yellows. Um, so I'm just indicating some shape and color on here. And, um, these aren't subtle enough, but you know, thinking about thinking about the design, there could be something loose like a motif running around, or just um, just go through this again. I mean, I really like the idea of of having like a you know with a a very loose rectangular area, something that imitates a tile, um, and then going back to this sort of going back to this you've got kind of a geometric but abstract softly abstract um, so so those are the sort of things I was thinking in terms of um, Sinclair's work the colors that he works with um, and now I'm getting carried away when I'm talking and make, making a painting so so that's what I was looking at now the other thing that flashed across my mind um, is if you really don't want to go for something like that um, and you want something um, from our end really bespoke um, is 
kind of a trough and that sounds awful a trough with the slate continuation of this on the outside or possibly your tiles don't know might be too much but it's possible and then the basin there could be a basin inside the trough I'm going to highlight this with a, another colour that's got absolutely nothing to do with it. So that's looking inside the trough, if you like. Got to think about durability as well. So, and then the basin in there, and that would be that would be it would have a space made. You know, there'd be a a mould in there that'd be taken out, and then. Um, and then this would be in concrete and then that would be lined with something now that could be lined with glass could be lined with tiles um, so there's all sorts of possibilities there but this is this is really raw this is just this is just literally banging off your email and then looking at some stuff in the flesh Right, now I've started because all sorts of ideas are banging around and then just trying to separate out what's achievable and then you just may not like it at all. But I've just come back into this as I was tidying up and I was thinking about, um, I was thinking about something like a bit of metal, um, slightly asymmetrical holding the bowl. I've done the measurements. Um, so over here, this is approximately to scale, so we've got eight, 800 high. They're measuring um, a decent sort of sink basin size, 47 diameter by about 16 depth in size, so you can have a proper wash. Anyway, just going back to this, and then I thought, A, the blacksmith will hate me, B, it would be very expensive because it's a lot of, a lot of engineering to get it right. Unless, of course, Nathan made this first and Sinclair made the basin to fit. That's very possible. The other possibility is lead. I think that would be perfectly safe, but then you might not want to risk that. And it would be purely, purely a surface thing anyway, so that's probably not worth it. But I really like this um, kind of having a little neck, which could be made, which Nathan could make out of metal. And then thinking about those... Um, those more, that's not quite it, but those more sort of oxide-y, um, dark, um, bronzy sort of glazes that Sinclair does, sort of having this, you know, on here, like it's, it's holding it up like this. And also, you know, I'm thinking very, i um, trying to think very intuitively with the tile shape. So this kind of this cross shape and this, then this um, elliptical shape, I think it, I think it goes. Um, without a sort of, uh, you know, an ornate tight detail. But the other thing with the bowl, it could be very painterly. It could just have, um, <clears throat> you know, washes of, of colour, again, reflecting the tiles, um, what works sort of thing going across. Really love that at the moment. Um, anyway, see what you think.